A concrete tunnel beside Olympic Stadium is getting a lot of attention this week. It doubles as a pipe that draws skateboarders from around the world. Well, now their favorite spot is threatened. The Montreal Impact plans to build its new soccer stadium on the site. But a group of Montreal skateboarders is determined to save what's theirs. Our Lisa Louder has that story. When Richard Demarchet first skated the Big O 20 years ago, he fell in love. He says this pipe is way cooler than anything you'd find in a skate park. It's just perfect. You can't have anything better than this. I mean, it has minor imperfections because it's not made for skateboarding, which make it, makes it perfect. Those imperfections make it a little bit harder to skate and challenging. It's more challenging because the walls are steep and it's not very wide. But that's because it wasn't designed for skateboarding. 30 years ago, torch-carrying athletes used the tunnel during the Olympics. Carry the flame into the stadium. Lately, the tunnel is drawing a completely different type of athlete. Many international skateboarding pros have dropped in. When a picture comes out in a magazine of a big-name pro and it's here at the pipe, like, the kids, like, you know, it's just, they go wild. 13-year-old Paul Liliani and his friends live in Toronto. They're here all week to skate the Big O. I've been planning on it for a while. I've always wanted to come skate here. Now that the spot is in jeopardy, skateboarders who've ridden it for years want to make sure it will still be around for the next generation. Well, we're working closely with a team of engineers and a team of architects and a team of cement finishers, and we're trying to see uh, the different options that we have. Um, we should have propositions probably early next week as far as uh, ideas and price ranges as far as uh, different uh, various options. Destroying it versus rebuilding it versus moving it. A spokesperson from the Olympic Park says they're waiting to hear from the Montreal Impact before they decide what to do. Plans for the site should be finalized in two weeks. The impact refused to do an interview until then. In the meantime, the Big O will probably be getting a lot more attention. I'm going to tell people to support it as much as they can because it's starting to mean a lot to us too. Lisa Ann Lauder, CBC News, Montreal. And we'll keep you updated on that story as it develops.